I wanna show you my favorite tool to generate artificial intelligent videos, which look artsy. I mean, we're not just generating text into images here. We're taking images and we're blending them together using artificial intelligence to make something loopable that we can use as a NFT or as a cover art for a music NFT. So first of all, we're going to go to artbreeder.com and we're going to log in or sign up for a new account and you can sign up with Google if you have a Google account and go ahead and sign in and it'll create your account for you. Now it's good to understand that this is a sort of freemium service. So we're gonna be able to generate about three or four different cover art videos using a free account and if you wanna continue beyond that, I encourage you to pay for credits from Artbreeder. If you click up here, you'll see your profile, but we don't have any images created yet. So let's go back to artbreeder.com and we're gonna click this plus button to get started making our video. Now, key point here, click video. So if we go to video, we'll see that we have these 10 separate categories and these are pretty separate. So you're going to be generating art that's either sci bio art or album landscape buildings, but it's a lot more difficult to do something that is a cross between, say, a landscape and an anime portrait. And I believe this has something to do with the processing power of the artificial intelligence, but I'm not exactly sure. When you're creating your album cover art video, you're going to have to use one of these 10 different categories. So as we're brainstorming what words we wanna put in or what images we wanna put into the AI, we also wanna think about these 10 categories, what's available in each category, and which one we wanna choose as well as what we wanna to search to pick out our images. So let's go ahead and go through each of these categories and take a look at some of the art that's available for us to use. Uh, we can see this owl over here looking pretty cool. Um, this is a lot of animals in this section, a lot of kind of trippy animals. And then let's keep going to the next section. I believe this is the science, the sci-fi section. This is actually what I use for like all of my cover art. But there's a lot of eyes, a lot of planets, things like that. Next we have sort of more realistic faces. Now, I do want to say, like, all of this stuff is CC0. This stuff is in the public domain and may be used for commercial purposes. So don't worry about using these faces. It should be completely legally fine. And keep in mind, these aren't actually real faces. These are either generated by AI or changed by AI in some way. So now we have some more anime-type characters. And there's a ton to go through. I'm not going to scroll through every single one but if you go to like random this is landscapes uh, you can scroll through these yourself and start to save four or five of these images to put together and they do have to be in the same category so um, i believe this is the album art category actually so they have like a whole category for album art um, i've actually never used it to make album art but you're more than welcome to experiment and find some cool stuff here as well as, you know, you don't have to make video. This course is about making video art, but you, you're perfectly legally allowed to come in here and make a still image and use that as your album art. And now we have some more anime furry type characters. These are the buildings. Some, some really crazy stuff pops out of here. And here we have some more art. I, I forget which category this is. Let's see, this is probably maybe paintings. So yeah, this is the paintings category. Uh, lots of cool stuff. You could definitely make some like super Picasso-ish art with this, with this category. And next we have, I believe, the final anime character section. So lots to explore there as well. And the next thing you can do to fully explore these categories is to start searching. So as you're compiling this list of words that you wanna use, you do wanna make sure that there's something there. So maybe you have this idea that you want a green theme. So you can search green and see what shows up or you wanna get more specific and you want a bush 
or a tree. So um, yeah, like if you see something you like, you can go ahead and, and add it down there or you can just start to save these type of things. Now that we're familiar a little bit with the art that we have available, let's pick the section that we chose. This time I'm just going to do general and we'll get started making our video. So this is the main video creation page. We'll have a preview up here, which will be like just image blending preview that is not AI. Then you have the actual art down here, which we're gonna add in just a second and a stat counter over here, which tells you how many frames per second, uh, how many images and things like that. But we're actually going to keep that at 24. And let's get started adding our first art. All right, guys, we did it. We used artificial intelligence to generate an NFT video that we can sell as a standalone NFT, or we can use as a cover art for our Mint Songs music NFT to make us really stand out in the market. So there we have it, the basics of Art Reader, an incredible free program. If you wanna dive deeper into image genealogy and making a GIF that is small and beautiful and you can use it all over the internet, don't forget to check out our full Skillshare class. Thanks for watching, peace.